Hello everyone, welcome to this video where I'll be showing you how to sort the result of a Flask RESTful API that uses SQL Alchemy. So without any further ado, let's jump into the code and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So here in our project, we've got our API resources and we've got our user resource. So if we navigate here, you can see from a previous lesson, we were filtering our resource using arguments we got from our query string. So we're gonna do a similar thing for our sorting. So here I'm gonna say sorts, and I'm gonna say request.args.get, and here I'm gonna say sort. So we're gonna expect a sort keyword, and here we're gonna check if the sort exists, and then we're gonna loop through all the individual sorts because we're gonna accept an array of them, comma separated, and we're gonna apply each one of them. So I'm gonna say for sort in sorts, and sorts is a string, so we've gotta split it, and we're gonna split it by a comma, and here we gotta get the direction. So we gotta see if it's descending. If it's got a negative sign prefix to it, then it means it's descending. If it doesn't, it means it's ascending. So we're gonna say descending, and we're gonna check our sort string. We're gonna get the first character, and we're gonna say, is it equal to a negative sign? If it is, then it's descending. So we're gonna say, if it's descending, we wanna do something different. So first, we're gonna get the field, Okay, so we're gonna get the name essentially, and we're gonna say get attribute, and we're gonna say user, and then we got to say sort, and we want the whole string except the first character. So we're gonna say one until the end. And we're using get attribute here because for dynamic attributes that we've, we're using through strings, we need to use this function. So here we're gonna say user query is equal to user query, and here we're gonna order by. And here, because we want a descending sort, we've got a function from SQL Alchemy, so we're gonna import that. So if we go to the top, from SQL Alchemy, import descending. So here, this is a function. So we're gonna put our field in. So we're gonna say field, and then here, Otherwise, it's an ascending sort. So we're gonna say field is equal to, and here we're gonna get the attribute. So same as before, user, and here we're gonna say sort. So we want the whole string because here there is no negative sign. And then we're gonna say user query is equal to user query dot order by, and here we're gonna say field because we don't want it to be descending. So, if we go to Postman, we can get all of our users, and here we've got our users, here we've got a Bob, so that should be first if we're sorting by name. So here I'm gonna say sort, and here I'm gonna say name. And here we go, we get Bob, Jack, Jane, John, and Julie. However, we can add multiple sorts. So I'm gonna add age because I wanna sort by age. So here we've got 25, 30, 40, 40, and 40. So here we've got three users with the same age, and here we might want to sort this one. So they are sorted alphabetically, just by chance, but what if we wanna have them in descending order of name as a second sort. So here, we're gonna sort them all by age, and then as a secondary, if we have common ones, we're gonna sort them by descending name. So this should change to Julie, Jack, and Bob. So the last three should be the only ones that change. So if we make this request, we get John, Jane, Julie, Jack, and Bob. So in this fashion, you can add as many sorts as you like. So yeah, 
I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have, please like, comment, share the video as this helps the channel grow so I can keep making these videos. I upload new videos every week about Python and related frameworks, so if you want to get notified when I do, please subscribe as well as click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a new video is released. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.